you come from a special generation because you yourself were in the army and you saw a version of reality in the world that was very harsh. War, battle, killing. Michael Langham was in the camps in the Second World War. And a number of your generation bring to the stage and bring to characters and bring to Shakespeare um, a certain appreciation for life. This is not true with the current generation. So, how can we address that when you speak to a younger actor? I mean, when Michael Langham or yourself does King Lear and journeys into King Lear, you have, in your background, you have the Second World War, you have human suffering, you have uh, human devastation, whereas uh, a young, wonderful actor like Jonathan Goad doesn't have that in his background. So how does an actor bring that experience that you actually had firsthand? By observation, I guess, in the case of Jonathan Goad, because he hasn't been through, um, he leads a very normal, undramatic life. He's so undramatic off stage, I can't believe it. And yet he brings all this imagination and fire and reality on stage. And you think, where does that come from? And it's a creative ability that Jonathan has, which some actors are gifted with. They don't need to have experienced anything like what they're portraying. Um, but those actors are rare, and they are the brilliant ones. Um, for instance, um, Peter Sellers, his life was horrible, mm -hmm. but what he managed to create on the screen was so bizarre and awful. <laughs> was that a product of his life, or was his life a product of what he played? 